my eyes have gone funny from X's and Y's and I's and J because the A-level maths course is finished. Yay! Um, and flash sale for 24 hours. He is 10% off. And if you combine that with one of the codes from my lovely brand ambassadors over on Instagram, then you'll get 20% off, making a year's access to my whole course with all of the questions in only £20, which is so much less than you would ever find a private tutor for. You have probably noticed that your teachers are pretty stressed and they are talking a lot about mocks. Maybe you've already had a mock. Maybe you've been told that you're having two mocks and you've got another one coming up in January. This is just your school being super prepared in case exams cancel again, in case calculated grades are needed again, in case that Gavin Williamson, Gerald Gavin, winding up teachers on a daily basis, announces that mock results will be used. They are putting something in place to say that mocks are important, but we don't know the details yet. So just in case it is purely based off a single mock result, mocks are important and your teachers are probably stressing about them, which is passing down to you, which means you are stressing about them more than you normally would if this was a normal year, a normal year 13 in school. It is not a normal year. Um, and people are stressing about mocks. Please try not to let this worry you too much. These are just mocks and they are important. But what is most important is making sure we get through to the end of year this year sane, with our mental health intact. Because not only do you have the pressure of everything going on at school, the, the increased focus on the mocks, you've got the pressure of the pandemic going on anyway and the normal stresses that people are facing, focusing on that. And then you have your UCAS applications which have to be in shortly. And it is a lot. This is potentially the hardest year 13 that anyone has ever had to face and it is okay if you don't feel like you are coping very well not many people would be coping very well in this situation anyway it is really worth thinking about whether going straight on to university is what you want to do whether you want to defer for a year whether you want to take a gap year and go traveling the idea of applying for university at the time at this time might just be too much for you and that is okay you could decide that you just want to go through clearing that you actually don't want to apply now you want to wait until you've got your exams until the end of August, uh, 24th of August is a results day now, and that you just want to wait and go through clearing so that the pressure isn't happening now, the pressure is happening later. You do have a lot of options in relation to UCAS, and I've done a whole long playlist of videos taking you through lots of those options. But it is an added stress that you have at this time of year which is why it is vitally important for you this half term to spend a bit of time relaxing and as part of that getting organised and prepared for next year, next term. So by that I mean making yourself a timetable, getting your folders sorted and organised, making sure you've got a clear study space. Now on this timetable you need to put down everything that is important so that it doesn't get missed out. Now people's definition of important is different between every single person. If there is something that you think is important, then it is important and don't let other people take that away from you. So if playing football or horseback riding or guides and scouts or going to church is important to you, then it is important and you must make sure that you make time for that on your timetable. You must make sure that you do those activities. That is a really important part of getting through this year with our mental health in a good place. And then you need to fit studying in around that. So for every single hour of contact time is roughly an hour of work outside of the lesson as well. Now that's gonna be a combination of doing your homework, writing up your notes, taking your notes from class, making them look neat, add in examples from textbook, add in examples from my videos, um, add in examples that you've tried in a way that if you went back to it in five months time you would understand it fully 
and then also going back to a bit of the year 12 work revising that trying a few exam paper questions and um, maybe like one question I'm not saying sit down and do a whole exam paper but just try one question on a topic from year 12 and see if you can do it by getting all the marks if you can brilliant great let's tick that off and if you can't just put it to the side and go back and revise it at a later date but making sure you get that timetable sorted making sure you get your folders organized may just seem like busy work it may just seem like not doing any actual revision but it is still really important to make sure you have a successful back to school um, after half term and then you have a successful next year. This is an important use of your time. Even if you just spend a couple of hours printing out exam papers, that is still going to be a really good thing for you to do. Because then when you come to do them, they are all there ready and waiting for you. This is, this is a great thing for you to spend some time doing. So... This half term guys, make sure you make time to look after yourself, make sure you make a timetable, make sure you organise your folders, make sure you've got your study place space clear and sorted. Um, and I am going to be here with you the whole way through this, I promise. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>